beautiful star of Bethlehem, shining afar through shadows down, giving the light for those who long have gone. Star of Bethlehem, shine on, shine on, oh beautiful star of Bethlehem, of Bethlehem, shine upon us and tell the glory dawns. Oh, give us the light to light the way unto the land of Star of Bethlehem, shine on, shine on. Amen, and um, good to see you all this morning. And I'm uh, Pastor Canaan Harris, and my son Ezekiel, and we're joining you from my back porch, uh, trying to get everything straightened away. We we actually had to turn on the heater this morning on the back porch because we had a cold night last night, and um, that's a uh, not something we've done thus far this year. It's just been one of those years where we haven't had very much uh, cold weather. So um, good to feel a little nip in the air. It's uh, Christmas time is coming. And grateful to and welcome my son here. Ezekiel is tired at uh, just past 6.30 in the morning. But welcoming him back after a hiatus of a couple weeks he was gone uh, to finish his finals. And uh, he's now on his uh, Christmas break, so grateful to have him and have his voice uh, lending this morning, especially with a good song like that where he can add some harmony vocals. Uh, good to see some of you, Priscilla, Bob, some others uh, joining us, Charmore, this morning. Uh, great to see you all join us. And we're going to have a prayer and um, a scripture and a lesson and another song, just a good way for us to get this day started on This is the last Sunday before Christmas. We call it uh, fourth Sunday of Advent. So let's hear now the word of the Lord. Um, well, actually, no, let's have, a, let's have a prayer. Let's have a prayer now, and Ezekiel will lift up the scripture for the day. Um, but uh, let's go to God now in prayer. And God, we are so blessed, and we do trust in you that you provide for us a sure and certain foundation and your son, Jesus Christ. And today on this last Sunday before Christmas, we recognize and, and celebrate Mary, the mother of Jesus, and we remember her song, her Magnificat, as she says, my soul magnifies the Lord, and she prophesies the one uh, who she bears, the one who is to come, who will um, make all things new. God, and we do trust in you, and we do trust in your promises, and we do trust that tomorrow is a better day, that you'll give us a new place to start, God, that we can trust that all things work together for good for those who love and serve you. And God, we ask that you come into our hearts, that you um, kindle the, the love that is in our hearts on this Sunday of love, that we can trust in you, we can trust in the love that is God and that is in the person of your Son and by your Holy Spirit. God, help us to trust that you have bigger plans than what we could ever imagine and that you are acting in all of these circumstances. And God, we do pray for each and every one within the sound of my voice in this hurting world. Guess, uh, help us to stand on that sure and, and certain foundation, which is your son, Jesus Christ. God, it's in his name we pray. Amen. 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 Good morning. And uh, we're going to lift up our lesson this morning, which is from Luke in chapter 1, uh, beginning in verse 39. In those days, Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me? Okay. Well, that's fine. I think we can start with blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. That is the 44. 
Well, that's the introduction. That's through 42, and that's the introduction to the Magnificat. If you wanted to continue the song of Mary, the Magnificat, you would continue um, in the scripture where she says, A new child will be called the prophet of the Most High to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death and to guide our feet. Well, no, that's the wrong one. <laughs> that's the next song. Um, he says, um, he has shown strength with his arms. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. Uh, actually, I think I was jumping ahead into the song of Zechariah because Luke has several songs. We have the song of Mary. We have the song of, of Zechariah. We have the song of, of Simeon. And so Luke has several songs, and these are the songs that come from the joy of the people of God. And this is also um, based on the songs of the Old Testament. These people went singing and singing their joy. And we have, these are some of the oldest documents in the New Testament. But the song of Mary, her Magnificat. And what happened? She met her cousin Elizabeth. The child leapt in her womb. And she said, give glory to God. And that's what prompted this great song. Um, my soul magnifies the Lord. That's why it's called the Magnificat. And so Jesus came from the womb of Mary. And we have here this beautiful image. The child leapt in her womb. And we think of that. We think of how God brings life. We think about how God brings life in the, the womb of a mother. And we think that we trust in God as bringing life. And even in a time of darkness, God brings new life into the world. That's what this season of Advent and, and Christmas is all about. This is the dark season. This is the season of winter and these parts of the world here we see the days are growing shorter, the days are growing colder and uh, the people uh, today just like the people of old were under oppression of, of government. We had uh, the Herod, the king, who was uh, seeking to kill all of the children and here Jesus was born in a manger of Bethlehem. God is bringing light and hope into the world. And we see that through this beautiful image of the child leaping in Elizabeth's room to testify uh, to the coming uh, of the coming king. So this is a beautiful connection. You know, we've looked at John the Baptist. Who was John the Baptist? He was Elizabeth's son. And so we're looking at, we're going back in time and we're looking at how John the Baptist was there in Elizabeth's room to recognize, to testify to the coming of the baby Jesus, even in utero, in the same way that he was born to testify, in the same way that the season of Advent begins with his testimony. Um, I'm, my, my eyes are at the point and the light is at the point where, and I'm reading this Bible and I look down and I mistook the song of, of Zechariah for the song of Elizabeth. But uh, the reason why I can is because they are all testifying. All of these are representing, Mary is representing the prophetess of old, Hannah and, and, and Deborah, and Zechariah is representing the prophets. And all of this has culminated in the fulfillment of the prophets. And all of the time has come, and all of the prophecies have come to the time of fulfillment of the coming of uh, the baby, Jesus Christ. And this is our hope. And, you know, the, the wonderful thing about the scripture is we can look forward to what is yet to come, the promise that is yet to come, the light that is yet to come into our darkness. Amen. Because this Bible, it's not just a history book, but this Bible speaks to us today. So in a time of darkness and a season of oppression and even tyranny, do we not see ourselves in the biblical story? Do we not see the hope in the one that is to come, the child that leaps in the womb and recognizing the baby Jesus. This is the good news. Advent, fourth Sunday of Advent, the Sunday of love, Mary's Magnificat, aren't we blessed? Um, so we're gonna share some more about this uh, this afternoon. We have a, or this morning at 10 o'clock in our in-person service, and you can see that also online. We have a service based around this same theme and uh, the last Sunday before Christmas. So a lot for us to look forward to. Um, we also have on Christmas Eve, which is this Friday, we have a beautiful service. Ezekiel will be playing the harp in our in-person service and uh, also other beautiful music and uh, telling stories. And that will also be broadcast on the same channel. So here's Andy, uh, one of our regular participants. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, well, great message for today. A good lesson, you know, from the Magnificat. This is the Sunday where we lift up the Song of Mary and we're getting that close 
getting that close to the coming of the baby born on Christmas Eve. So we're going to go out with the song, and we are singing all now um, these beautiful uh, Christmas carols. So this is, It Came Upon the Midnight Clear. It came upon the midnight clear, that glorious song of old, from angels bending near the earth to touch their hearts of gold. Peace on the Amen. We'll get to hear a lot more Christmas carols at our service this morning at 10 o'clock and especially on Christmas Eve. We save some of our favorite Christmas carols till Christmas Eve. So great to see you all. Good way we can start on a Sunday morning. Um, and uh, maybe we'll see you also at 10 o'clock. Um, but bl blessings and know we keep you in our prayers. Let's go out now on the benediction. And now may the love of God, the peace of Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit with us all through Jesus Christ, our Lord, this day and always. Amen.